Well, that's Roy here in Spin 103. I'm here with Danny and Dave from the Corners. How are you doing, boys? Not too bad. How are you? Right, I'm very good. I'm very good. We're loving the new singles uh, from the album Closer to You. Mm. Tell us about the album, though, because I'm always interested. In people say it's like a baby, and now you've birthed Just the baby. Like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> is it is it your best child yet? Yeah, for yeah. us, I, we it's definitely. Think, yeah, it's our favorite. Is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Cool. No, yeah, for us it is. You know, I suppose uh, the first album. Like we didn't really know what we were doing. We were doing. It. I think it has a certain innocence to it. That's that's sort of probably connected with a lot of people. But for us, as as the more we get going, like we seem to think that we know a bit more yeah. what we're doing. So it felt a bit more natural anyway. And, and, and we've gigged a lot in between albums yeah. as well. So I think this time, third time out, we kind of have a bit more confidence in the studio, which counts a lot. Like when you're in there, you don't want to be nervous in the studio because it doesn't help you a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And do you guys do it all kind of organically in the studio? Like is it everyone in a room together, or do you have to go back and Okay, we're doing drums now for yeah. five hours. We're going to do guitar, or does it all happen in one? Um, it, it sort of depends. Most of the time, we, we always try to play live, you know. And all the three producers we worked with, I think different producers are different to the way they mm. they want to they want to get it down. But uh, especially Tony, the, the producer who did closer to you, he he was all about you know getting the live vibe. And a lot of the stuff that actually made the the album was literally live takes. Like they mm. were his favorite from the very first take. Especially there's a song called Blindly the Blind where he took a lot of my piano playing. Uh, from the very rough take, we were only trying to get the drums. Yeah. And he said the, the way I played the piano that first take. The rest of the day, tried to copy. Uh, <laughs> how, <laughs> played, how did you play it the first time? I don't know. <laughs> it was, it was just literally when I wasn't thinking about it, that was the best take. Yeah. And we ended up so it was not blindly the blind is so live, like the drums totally live, piano's live. I just did the vocal on top, you know. So it's live as well. The guitar's live. Yeah. I was going to ask you about the piano because mm. uh, the video for Addicted to Progress shows a lot of the live performances, mm. and then I thought. Chris Martin's nicked your upright piano yeah. at an angle to the crowd thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's nicked that from you. Or maybe we nicked it from <laughs> him. Either no, or. No, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's, oh, it was a bit strange. I was like, I can't believe we have singles now when I'm playing the piano. And like, now the two singles, Mark My Words, yeah, and Addicted, they're both piano. That was kind of the problem because then we'd have Danny behind the piano and the piano's too high, so if. I mean, he's the focal point, so you can't like stick side on. Yeah, so yeah. he needs to get the uh, uh, arrow <laughs> the arrow. That's yeah, yeah, crap. Rock and roll. Yeah, that's that from Danny from the script. <laughs> We've got some quick fire questions here. Uh, what is the most shameful album you've ever bought or downloaded? Ooh. Wow. I'll give you mine to break the ice. Yeah. Smurfs go pop. Wow. So I actually spent pocket money that. on that. Yeah. That was bad. It's still in rotation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right up there. Uh, my first single that I bought in was Coolio, The Gangster's Paradise. It's not, mm. none to be ashamed yeah. of. It's a great tune. Mm. It's a great tune. But uh, I don't know. I definitely... Uh, I think I bought three T's song at one stage. Wow. <laughs> That's yeah, that might have been an early Boys yeah. Men album that I might have picked up <laughs> yeah. as well. Sort of oh. just impressed with the harmonies. <laughs> yeah. That Mariah Carey song. <laughs> you know, with Boys Men. There's nothing too bad. Thing. There's nothing too yeah. bad in there. Yeah. Um, okay, what's your default order in a takeaway? Um... Default or in a takeaway? I don't know. I'm like pretty right. standard chicken pretty curry. Brilliant. Chicken curry in the Chinese. See, that's man. alien to me now. Really? Yeah. I'm, I'm a chicken food. burger man. Chicken yeah, burger. Chinese yeah. Like uh, best cake you've ever been to? Um, I was there the very first night. Like, the O2 opened here for Kings Leon, and mm. it was really incredible. Like, and I've seen Kings Leon a good few times since, and they didn't blow me away live. But that yeah. night, there was something about the atmosphere. Definitely one of my favorite gigs. Um, yeah, I've been to a few other ones. I remember Radiohead a few years ago. In uh, Puncher Town, it was yeah. incredible, and uh, Daft Punk in Marley Park, and I don't know, there's been a good few. Been a good few. Yeah. Um, for me, um, I remember I saw Blur when I was about like ten. That was the first game I went to. That's very credible for a ten-year-old, isn't it? Better than three T. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, um, that was the best thing. But that was because I was so young that I didn't expect it to be so amazing. Yeah. It really was. And recently. Sort of strokes in, in Benicassine, which oh, wow. were obviously Benicassine Festival in itself. Yeah, it's supposed to be amazing. It's unbelievable, yeah. 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 Um, so strokes over there is pretty good. Uh, Favourite childhood toy? Childhood toy? Guess who? I used to be a big fan of Guess oh, who. Really? So what you yeah. to play with? Yeah, um, no, I played by myself. <laughs> no, uh, no, yeah, we used to get Guess Who, because Guess Who doesn't last that long, so you have to get it every it doesn't, Christmas. It doesn't, does it? I think you pick a girl, and their first question is girls. Yeah. Like, oh. No, but the bits <laughs> even fall off, and you lose things a lot. So we used to get it every Christmas, it was just part of our, we'd get a Guess Who between us all. I think what's weird about Guess Who is that they stay with you forever. Like, you the see pictures, someone on the street, yeah. and they go, that yeah. looks like Maria, but <laughs> Guess Who, and everyone goes, oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Why would you say that to me, Drew? He goes, that guy kind of looks exactly like Herbert from Guess Who. <laughs> 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 you know exactly what they're talking about. Uh, what was the hardest song to record on the album? Um, the last one. <laughs> what was that? What's it called again? No, no, no. Or um, the last tune. Yeah. What's the song? Um, what? What is it? 
Uh, oh, make it happen. Make it yeah. happen. No, yeah, we sort of wrote it. Was called, it was called three part aggression. Yeah, for it, had a, time. it had a working title. <laughs> phrase. Work. Anyway, we ended up calling it "Make It Happen," but it was one of those songs that we, we thought that would be grand. We'll leave that till the yeah, end. Yeah, it's just a kind of jam. We know that one. Be It'll fun. be fine. We'll leave it to the end. And then when it got to the last day of doing it, we were just it was oh, especially me. Dave says it took us a lot. It was me trying to play the simplest guitar part ever. <laughs> I just couldn't do it <laughs> at all. We spent I'd say a good five hours. I was looking at the lads. The lads in there just on their laptops, like rolling their eyes. Like, I don't know, try it again. But uh, eventually we got there. Right, I've got two quick ones. Uh, what is the biggest pop or cultural phenomenon that you simply just don't understand? Gaga. Gaga? Gaga? It's just crazy. Gaga. Like, I think yeah. she can sing and all, and I think she's a good songwriter, I suppose, but it's just the the, ma the mania around it. <laughs> yeah. I just don't get it out of her craziness. I don't see that. Um, yeah, she's talented enough. Yeah, <laughs> she's into art and stuff. I, I, no, I just I'd way prefer Rihanna or yeah, 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 to yeah. Gaga, and just, she's. For me, Twitter kind of goes over my head a bit. I just yeah. got into it. You get into it once you get into it. You're gonna come back. No, I shouldn't say something like that. <laughs> Who is the best smelling person in your life? Oh, I smell I like smelling girlfriend. Just she say, smells, <laughs> yeah, she smells good. I don't have a girlfriend, so <laughs> me. Every answer is gonna be weird from here on in. Um, Who do you enjoy a good sniff of? A good sniff of, maybe not Danny, do you? No. Do you know Danny doesn't use shampoo in his hair? Do you think that? No, you don't. No, no, it's just left the natural oils. Every once That's in a while I give it a say. wash. Right. But um, yeah, if I wash my hair, it goes like a frizz ball. A frizz ball. Mm. Like it's just. <laughs> so it's not Danny. Um, yeah, no. Rory, you know, you're taking it. The, you're, you're the best one of this. <laughs> Good. Right answer. answer. That's what we were <laughs> looking for. Yeah. All right, uh, Close to You is out now, and we recommend it. Yay. Bye now. It's Cheers. like an infomercial. <laughs> <laughs> Lads, thank you very much. Cheers, Cheers Rory. Thanks.